stuck in a breakfast rut and you want to do something different, but you want it to be quick and you want it to be healthy. And I like to use things that I already have in my house. So I'm going to show you some simple breakfast recipes that will keep you satisfied that are also fun and delicious. So first we have strawberry muffins. Now, if it's, they're in season, it's great. You can buy fresh strawberries. You can also keep frozen, str frozen strawberries. I like to keep a lot of good things in the freezer so I can just pull them out whenever I need them. So this is three quarters of a cup of strawberries and a quarter teaspoon of salt, raw sugar, baking powder, and I use oat flour. A lot of, it's, it's healthy, it's good fiber, and I substitute white flour for oat flour when I'm baking, unless it's something really delicate. If it's a souffle or something where it's like an angel food cake, you would not use an oat flour or wheat flour, but in something muff, muffins or banana bread that are rustic, oat flour is great. And people have wheat allergies, so it's also great for that reason. And raw sugar, also when you have a recipe with white sugar, same thing, if it's not a really delicate recipe, get raw sugar. It hasn't been processed as much. That's why it has this darker color. And you won't notice the color in something like a muffins or a chocolate cake or a carrot cake. Salt is always good in any sweet recipe. It brings out the flavor. Here's one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. This is your dry. Now your wet, half a cup of soy milk. You can use regular or low fat. Again, people have allergies and different reasons. So I like to show you different ways to make a classic recipe. Two tablespoons trans fat free shortening. I've melted it and then vanilla extract, which is great, and I use it in a lot of my muffin recipes. Mix this all together. Okay, so I'm taking my bracelets off, because they're making a lot of noise. Okay, so mix this all together, and then you add the strawberries at the, at the last minute, especially with blue, you can, by the way, use raspberries, use blueberries, use whatever you have. Use mango, pear, apple, does not matter. I like you to use what you have, and you could have this batter and split it in half and do half blueberry, half strawberry, so it feels different. Here's your strawberries at the last minute. Always at the last minute so you don't, so the color, they don't become pink muffins. Same thing with blueberries or pancakes or anything like that. And all these substitutions I do do in other things too, like pancakes. All right, so using an ice cream scoop is the best way, especially if you have kids because they want everything to be the same size for even portions. Turkey burgers, crab cakes, ice cream scoop is your friend. That is a strawberry muffin. And it's a nice portion. It's 116 calories per muffin. This, this I think is like a, this is a smaller ice cream scoop, probably like a two, two to three, a three ounce ice cream scoop. Okay, that's that. Now another thing is French toast. Your kids love French toast. It has the egg, which is good protein. You don't want them to just have only bread. So I'll do a healthier version: four egg whites, one teaspoon maple syrup one teaspoon vanilla extract, okay? If you, want, if you want to have a little bit of the yellow in there, you can, but I don't find that it, it makes that much of a difference. It's still delicious because of all the other great flavors. So put this all together, and if you wanted the actual French toast to taste like strawberries, you can also buy strawberry extracts, raspberry extracts. It's a fun thing to play with that puts different flavors into things. Like you could put strawberry extract into the muffin. Okay, so then you put these on your nonstick pan. We get the idea and just put fresh sliced strawberries on top. And I, when I buy strawberries, you get worried because they start to go bad. Don't wash them until you're about to use them because the moisture will make them mold in the refrigerator. But I'll cut off the tops and then I'll just keep them in a freezer bag to make smoothies, to have your, you know, to keep things in the freezer. Whatever's going bad, if you can, freeze it. And that's our strawberry smoothie. Does anyone want a taste? Does anyone want to come taste? Let me get. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? I'm Jackie. Hi, Jack. Well, I was, but I just drank out of that. So let me give you a new one, okay. and then let me give you a muffin. Yeah. So tell me, or what do you want to try? Want to try the muffin? Let me come in here. Come in here, Jackie. This is good. Isn't that good? Yes. And oh, Excellent. here's this. <laughs> little maple, little real maple syrup. I, a lot of people buy the pancake syrup, and if it says pancake syrup, it's not real maple syrup, which okay. is healthier. What do you think? Mm, delicious. Is it good? You made it? I did. Oh my God. Oh, this is all from my book, uh, Skinny Girl Dish, which takes probably about 70 recipes and turns them into thousands of recipes.